all right welcome to this channel in today's video i'll be continuing from where i stopped in my last video and today i'll be working on the github task named collaboration is the base of a company so what i'll be doing in essence is to create a branch so i'll be creating a branch a github branch you'll be asking what is a branch branches allows you to develop features to fix bugs or safely experiment with new ideas in a content area of a repository so what it does majorly is it takes everything you have in your main area your master area in your repository copies it to a new area of your repository where you can now <clears throat> develop features you can safely experiment make changes um, collaborate with your friends or with your co-worker and when you are done with everything and you have come up with what you really want to do then you now move them back to your master so um, with a branch you can isolate your work from your main code base of your project and from your co-worker so it's a way of isolating your main or your master code base from whatever a new and whatever you changes you want to make you isolate it from the master so that it don't doesn't corrupt what you have there you don't you leave that intact a branch is like a copy of your project so what it does in essence is just to copy what you have in your main code area or your or your master area of your repository into a new location a new area of your repository and then you can make all changes and it is mainly used for adding a feature in development collaborating on same project with other developers not breaking your entire repository yes because if you don't take if you don't copy all you have from your master to another place and keep um, experimenting on your master your main area main code base you might make some mistakes and you'll not be able to fix them up again and you lose everything in your repository not upsetting your co-worker so today We'll be working on this task and the task is titled collaboration is the base of a company is a continuation of what we've been doing in my previous video in my previous video we've we've um, created a repository you can see that the name of the repository is software precourse and inside this software precourse we have um, a directory named 01 i think it's we have three other directories bash c and js as we've done in my previous videos so you can check my previous video on um coding fury roads that's also a github task that i did and today i will be continuing from there and so today's task is saying we should create a branch name update underscore underscore script and in this branch do the following so the first thing is to fire up your terminal to create this branch first thing we need to do is to navigate into our repository and you can see the repository software precourse which has been created in the previous video here and so you change directory to that repository now we're inside our software precourse repository the next thing we need to do is to check the status let's check the status let's know the branch we are currently in so we use this git status to know the branch we are currently in and you can see we are on map branch master we are on the master branch if you come to your repository you'll see that you are on the master branch here so going back to our um, the, our web terminal we are to create a new branch and to do that you use this command git checkout I think B is B for branch. Okay, check out. I didn't spell that correctly. So check. Okay, sorry. Check out. I think B, and you put the name of the new um, branch you want to create, and that's update underscore script. And so you press enter. When you press enter, you see it tells you switch to a new branch update underscore script so we've created a new branch and we switched to that new branch to so check your status to know where you are now so um switch and um, git status you see that you are now on branch update script so we've done that correctly nothing to commit working truth clean but the point we are bringing out now is that we are now on this branch and so we go back to our question our question says now in, in this branch create an empty file named this now i'm going to be okay we're going to be in this um directory bash slash 98 so we're creating a file called 98 in our batch directory remember previously in our master before we copied into this we had a directory known as bash and we've copied everything into the new branch so we just go back to our web terminal in our new branch we navigate into the directory where the um, bash is and that's zero one i think it's so you navigate into that and um if you list the content you can see that we have bash so we have to navigate into bash change directly to bash 
now inside bash it says we should create we have before now we have just one one um, file named software well now it's saying we should create a new soft a new file named 98 so we just do touch an empty file touch 98 you no know, touch is the command to create an empty file and once you create that if you list the content now of bash you see we have 98 and software there so we have done the first stage the first stage is to create an empty file 98 and the next thing is in update bash slash software by replacing echo software with echo software school so you remember that we in our master before that's what we really copied into this new repository in the bash we had just one file known as software and in software we had two lines of code now i say we should replace the second line of code with um with okay replace echo software with echo software school so we just replace what we had there before with echo software school and now we go back to our web terminal today i'll be making use of our v vi vi um text editor we've learned that you can check that in my previous video we've learned emac we've learned vi and today i'm making use of vi to make as a text editor where i can make changes so all i need to do is use the command vi and what is the name of the file i want to work with that software so i want to manipulate software and now it opens the text editor so you see so easily it opens the two lines and in our vi we'll be making use of two commands and um, some commands let me quickly show you the commands we'll be making use of these are the relevant vi commands we're using in this project to go into the insert mode we use we just press i on our keyboard to go into the command mode we press escape and to save and exit we use column wq so back to my web terminal you can see why inside vi and we're told to change this line so all i need to do is just to use my cursor take my cursor to the end and one now we now want to delete this um this second line all we need to do is to press i because i said i is to take us into the insert mode where we can insert text or type whatever so when i press i it will become active and i can delete so i just delete the second line which we are told to replace and now what did the question say the question said we should replace we should replace echo software with soft echo software school we should replace this with echo software school so going back to my terminal all I'll just type is echo still in my insert mode so I software school so I've replaced what I had there before with echo software school and once I'm done with this the next thing I'm to do is to press my escape I said my escape is to go into command mode so I don't insert in so press escape and press on my keyboard column WQ so once I do that I press enter you can see um, I've typed in okay I've typed in column WQ on that year I don't know why it's not really clear but you can see that I've typed it down here column WQ down here okay let me let me type it again so that you see I've typed column WQ which is the command to save and exit so once I press enter I've already saved that already and I'll edit. If I check the content of software now using CAT software, you'll see that it has been changed successfully to Echo Software School. So we've made the changes using our VI that we've learned before. And that's all what the question is saying. So you said we should make that change. And without making the change, we should add and commit the changes using the message my personal work. And so I go back to my web terminal now. The next thing I need to do now is to add using git add space dot so once i'm done doing that i need to commit so i use git git commit git commit but before before i even add i would like to add everything that i have in my main directory so let me just go back to the git directory so that i'm sure i'm adding everything in the directory all the changes so i go back and do git add again and now I do git commit hyphen m. Now my message, we're told to use the message my personal work. And when I press enter, um, the, the, it has successfully committed. So I just git push. Now, if I use git push, it's not going to work because we are in a different branch. So let me just type the command that is going to work. We're going to use 
git push then I think I think set upstream upstream origin then put the name of the branch you want to push to update underscore um, script now what is this doing this origin here um, origin is the name of the remote repository that your project was originally cloned into or cloned from so the original repository is our master that's where we we our project was originally cloned now i want to set upstream upstream points us to where the branch originated from so this git push all this is doing is to point us to where it is coming from but then that if you push to update script bear in mind that there is an original remote repository that we we our project was originally cloned from so pressing enter the, you can see that it's successful 100 percent and we've successfully done that if i go into my software okay uh, okay, we are done with this task. Push the new branch. So we've done that already. So if I go into my repository, if I um, come down here, you can see that okay, set up um, of the script as recently pushed was had recent had recent pushes less than a minute ago. So if I come under here, you can see that I have a new branch update script. If I open update script, I will still have the same directory zero one git. I have the same files bash cgs. But now in my bash, I have two, so two files, 98 and software. And in my software, I have those two lines and the edits that we did. So you can see how everything works. We've succeeded in finishing tax one. Now, that is not all. This is just part A of the, of the question. Now, the second part, which is part B. Part B says, your manager needs a quick fix in your project and it needs to be deployed now. Change branch to main update the files this so let's first of all change to main many years just talking about our master so i clear my my web terminal so that i can have more space to write now i want to navigate into my master uh, branch all i need to do is just to use git checkout and put master because that's where i am going to now and if you see that see switched to branch master so i'm, I'm in my main um, branch at the moment now the next thing it says change your main branch they say update the file there's a file in this directory bash slash software we should update echo software with echo software school is cool so i'll just go back there now and um go into bash all right so inside bash you can see that i have the the file software and see inside this software i should change me some changes so I'll, as i did in my previous in the first part i'm using vi so i use vi software to open this file and you can see that what we have here okay i had already done this before and that's why it's as if um, i have the correct thing there but normally what here is telling us that we should change this line the second line which normally should have been echo software i would already done this before and that's why i've changed it to echo software school is cool but we will assume that what we still have there is echo software and i change it to echo software school is cool um i should have okay so now the first thing we do is to use our relevant don't forget that we have some relevant um vi commands i is to go into insert mode escape is to go into command mode and this is to save and exit so going back to this i just press i on my keyboard so that i can enter um the insert mode so now all i need to do too is just to press i on my keyboard when i press i on my keyboard i'm ready in my insert mode and now i can manipulate the text i quickly delete what i have here now we're assuming that what we had here before was software school i said i had done this project before so um, all i need to do is just to delete everything and now type what it wants me to type which is echo then we have software school is cool all right so software school is cool and we have done what it says we should do um the question says we should change replace echo software with echo software school is cool and um, i said we are going to assume that what we had there was echo software because i had done this project before and so after doing this the next command now is to um um exit and save so we press escape to go into command mode then we press 
colon wq colon wq is the command to exit and save and you can see it under here once i press enter it has we exit from the vi and we have saved it so if i list the content of bash i get software if i check the content of software now you see that what i have there is those two lines of code that we've done and so we are done with that the question says delete the directory js so to delete the directory js we just navigate into the directory js so we go back to this and we uh we list the content of this you can see js is they want to delete js in our master all you need to do is just to use remove then to force the delete you use hyphen rf and you put js so this is a way of forcing the delete and you remove it by force from the master repository once you press enter if i list you see that js no longer exists so we've done that part of the code and it said commit your changes with the message hotfix and push to the origin so all i need to just do is just to do of course git add to add all the changes that we've done then now we use git commit and we use the the the, the um, description hotfix all right you press enter and you just put git push since we're in the master that um, repository you just master branch and you just put git push and that sets you everything so successful you can go to your repository and check you go back to your master and if you go to your master now you can see that we have a um, okay master you go to git you can see that we, we've deleted js from this place and if i open my bash you see that i have a software only software named hotfix what we just did now and when i press software i see those two lines of code there so that's just all about these tags thank you for watching this video kindly subscribe to this channel click on the bell notification to be notified when a new video is dropped um click on the like button and share this video with your friends thank you